king parrot Rex in a smaller cage and just put him in the sun this morning because it's winter now and it's a bit chilly. Sleeps inside when it's cold because he's an old boy now. He's 25. So I just popped him in there, taking him out of the aviary and the galahs have come to say hi. They're a bit impressed <laughs> checking him out. of cockatoos there. It's a beautiful sunny morning but gee it was cold overnight. Five degrees. So there's Rex. The galahs are checking him out. There's Scruffs in the background. Everyone's here this morning. More noisy cockatoos. Where are you going Scruffs? Climbing up the top of your feeder. The galahs really don't like having Rex here. They've been screeching at him. So he wings up, heads down. I'm trying to see what he's doing on their property. Just as well he's safe in there because <laughs> they're really not impressed. They're saying, get away, this is our deck. Rex doesn't mind, he knows he's safe in there. He's used to having other birds around. He's 25 years old now, he's only Rex. King Parrot, raised him myself. But the galahs are just not impressed. G'day guys, welcome back. One, two, three, four, five, six flip cups today. And look at these gorgeous, gorgeous bright colours. Now, you've seen me do these colours recently. I did this one. That was a two flip cup pour. Didn't see much black in that one. So I did a flip and drag and did that one. So I'm going to do a flip and drag again, but I'm going to do more cups so it's even more stripy. And those same colours, I did this ring pour. So I'm doing the same colours again, but I've added in lime. I don't know if it's a good choice or not, but I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. Um, yeah, the lime here. Don't know, I just thought, well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, pouring medium is my 70% glue, 30% water, and I've mixed that one to one. Uh, this is a 30 centimeter by 60 centimeter canvas, so it's a 12 by 24 inch, and I know I need about 800 grams of mixed paint. To work that out into ounces, divide 800 by 30. That'll give you the ounces. Treadmill silicone four cells and I'm going to put four in. One, two, three, four. I won't do the blacks, I'll just do the other colours. Oh, I think that was about three that went in at once. One, two, three, four. So normally my, my paws have white in them, you know, I use white and navies and turquoises, that sort of thing. I love those colours but just changing up a little bit, having some black for a while instead of some white. I do like my cells without the white in it, so just doing that for a bit of a change. Now I've got two blacks here, as you can see. I'm not necessarily going to layer all the blacks in the cup because that would make it too dark. I am going to use some of the black and pour between my flip cups. So that's what it's there for, but it's, I've got that one sitting there just to remind me that I wanna put some black in the middle, but as I said, not necessarily use all the black because it would just take over and it'd be a really dark painting. 
Righty, oh, so here we go. Get half this cup of black in my first layer. And I want it very stripy today, so I've gone with an extra cup. Normally I use five cups, clip cups. Uh, today I've got six, as you can see. I guess I'll have to get a riddle on, won't I, to get these cups layered. So I think that's about half. Oh, maybe I've used a bit too much. Because I use, I'm using an extra cup, I have to make my paint go a little bit further. I should probably reduce the amount I'm putting in here. There goes the purple. Uh, I'm just trying to think if they're all opaques. The black's opaque. The turquoise is opaque. The orange semi-transparent. The purple is semi-transparent. Hibiscus is op uh, what is it? Opaque. Um, and the green is semi-transparent. So I've got a bit of each. I don't have any plain transparency in this pool. It's generally just in the global, it's, I think it's just the um, the cool blue, which is transparent, and there's one other. Oh, the magenta. Magentas are transparent as well. There may be others. I just don't use other ones. Those are the two that I tend to use. So, and and of course, any colours that I make with the cool blue. I hope the pink and the green are going to be okay together. They normally are. Okay, back to black. Just a little bit. I'm not going to use all my black. Keep a little bit for my corners. And a little bit to pop through the center of the pour. Because the black tends to just mix in with the other colors and make them darker. I don't necessarily get that black block of colour which I like. So I'm going to see if I can get that by adding a little bit of extra black. I was going to pour the whole background as black and then drag. So I may still do that at a later date. Not, to, not today. I haven't made up enough black but I may do that another day if this particular pour doesn't go the way I, I'm hoping with the extra black. Okay, back to the purple. Will I do purple? Yeah, I'll do purple. I was thinking about putting a different colour in, but I think the way I've got them will work best. Not much left. I'll have to scrape out this cup for the last one. So I haven't poured for about a week because I've been working all week. I did have Friday off, but I had the builder here and the electrician and the plumber and the certifier and everybody here wanting to talk to me about my granny flat that I'm building under the house. It was going to be my new studio, but I love my studio in my garage here and I don't really want to move again. So we'll see. I may end up staying in my, my garage here. So yeah, I just didn't have time. There was people you know, asking me questions all day and they were hammering and making a, a noise. So I thought, oh, there's no point in me pouring. I'll just keep getting interrupted. So I haven't poured for a while, although I have been uploading videos and you guys know that I've been making videos for you um, when I have my days off and then I can upload on the days that I'm working. All of 
that out. And that's a lovely colour. This this one's called Hibiscus. It's kind of a hot pink, but it's got a touch of red in it too, just so it's not too bright. Okay, now let's flip these over. So they're quite close together. And hopefully that's so I can get my, my stripies. Whoops. Now, the little bit of black that I've got left over, I'm just going to pour those two together and add a little bit of water, just a touch, just so that my flip cups can easily flow in and around this black. That's the plan, anyway. Now, where's my water? I haven't got much left. I've got Probably less than half a cup in here. So just thinning it out a touch. Mixing them all together. And I'm just going to put a little bit of black between each cup if I've got enough. I didn't want too much black. Um, I probably didn't need so much in the cups. I probably won't even see this. It's such a thin little amount on some spaces, you probably won't even see it. But maybe I can leave a little bit on the corners there. to make a bit of a, a statement. And I've got a little bit left in the cup so I can always add a bit more afterwards. If I see a little spot that needs some more paint, I can add a little bit more of the black to it because such little thin lines will most likely get covered over. I'll wait till I do my flip and drags and then there's a tiny little bit left I can use again. My hands get so dirty, don't they? Or gloves get so dirty when you use black. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully it's nice and stripy. And I don't want blobby bits at the bottom, so. I'm going to be careful how I take my cup out. Oh, that's a good one. It's obviously faster works better with stripies. Don't run away, pink. Don't run away. Okay. I kind of forgot that the green acts like a yellow and the black doesn't particularly like yellow. Oh, I didn't show you my colours. Hopefully it'll be all right. It's just the green and the, the black makes that sort of icky colour. I oh, know, icky. Um, let's put up a little bit of this here. And a little bit just there. And I'm going to put a little bit more black in between, just a touch. That's what I would have liked, a bit more of a gap like that to put the black through. Got a nice line there. Might add a bit there. I don't want to cover too much of the canvas because I need some room to actually stretch my paint out. Right, that'll do for now. I just hope that my choice in lime was okay. Probably should have blurred these, these blobs. Smoothed my blobs over. <laughs> I should have. Let's 
cover them with some black. Black hides everything. Okay, I'll quickly show you my colours because I forgot to do that. Black. Move everything out of the way. Turquoise. Lime. It's just yellow and green together. Orange. Lilac, which is purple and white together. And hibiscus. Um, I think I might even torch a little bit now. No. I'm going to do the same as I always do. I'm going to cover one side, turn it, and then torch. It's been working well for me. So I'll keep doing what's been working. That way my cells don't get overstretched. And off we go to the sides, side to side, as we cover the top. If the top there is not covered, that's that's okay. Um, I'll fill it in later. Now turn it around. That was very easy covering. Got plenty of paint. It's quite dark, isn't it? Hopefully, when I torch, I'll get some nice bright cells coming up. Just wasn't sure about that line, but hey, I thought I'd just. Go for it and try it, see what happens. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I don't want too many cells this time. Round and round I go with the big torch. Big torch to my little torches. The little torch I find because it's got such a little flame, you have to get really close. Um, I prefer a more gentle overall heat with the big gun as long as you don't get too close. If you get too close, well, then you're doing the same thing as you would be with a little tiny torch. You just got to be careful not to get too close. cells and I've got heaps of those. Too close. I may have to do some little tiny water balloon dips in here. Did you guys see my video on using the little tiny water bomb balloons to get flowers? They were so cute. I really like those little tiny balloon dips. I may do it again with this one because I think there's going to be really bright colours underneath. I'll see what it looks like once I've stretched it out, but there's some gorgeous, gorgeous colours coming through underneath. It's just a bit busy. Now, I do want to get some of this corner off. That was that extra paint I poured on there. Naughty, naughty. I know, I've told you guys don't do it and then I go and do it. I had plenty of paint. I didn't need to to add that. Okay, so straight down to begin with. I want to stretch my cells, so you need to go side to side to stretch your cells. You can't just go up and down. Got to go side to side to stretch them out, otherwise they'll just be all elongated and they've got a bit of a muddy section there. So let's get that off. Come back, I need to change directions. I need to go to that corner down there. Some of it anyway. Okay, all of it. <laughs> so a lot of paint on the surface. The cells are quite small. I probably could have torched at the beginning before I turned the canvas. Um, 
a little bit of black striping through there, little ones, as you can see, little tiny ones. That's that's okay. Um, don't know whether I would have wanted too much of the black. I need to stretch these cells out. They're a little bit, they're a bit small. I'm going to see if I can take some of that off, even though it's gorgeous pink there. I need to open up some of this here. And try and get that off. So I need to move the paint to where I want it to go. And then down... Let's take that bit off. Go, go, go. Well, now I'm just making curves. Probably a little bit too much paint. Love those. Those are really pretty cells there. Might have to just actually try and get some off the, the side down there just to stretch things out a little bit more. Let's see if I can just walk the paint backwards and forwards. Just get a little bit more off the surface. It's quite busy down there. Let's take a little bit more off. There it goes. And that'll help me with my other cells just to stretch them out a little bit more. I obviously didn't need so much paint. I actually probably had more than 800 grams. What did I have? I had 60 and 60, 60 grams of pouring medium, 60 grams of paint. And I had, so that's 120. And I had seven cups. Well, that's pretty close, I guess. Just trying to center everything. Okay. Don't think I can do any more than that, really. Right oh. Done, done, done. What do you think? Do I do my little balloons? Actually, what would be better? One day, one day, one day, I need to get a mass of tiny little cells and then get my water balloon in because some of them are still quite large, these cells. I if I can get some more paint off. Mm, I think I better leave it. So do you like the lime in there? I do kind of like the lime. I'm thinking that maybe I've got a little bit too much black in it. So my background has gone quite dark because of the black in there. I probably should have only used the one cup of black in the actual layers and then put more cup on, more black on the background. So I had this more of a brilliant black shining through because I haven't got much. I've got that little bit there. Mm, there's not really a lot. I'm so tempted to do my little balloon dips, you guys. Um, no, I won't. You guys are going to yell at me. Don't do it. If I do it, I'll, if I do it, I'll come back in a few hours once it's had a chance to dry a little bit. I've got to fix that, don't I? But uh, it's it's pretty. Not as bright as I was hoping for. As I said, it's probably because. Um, I maybe had a little bit too much black in my actual cups. And the black does, you know, change the colours of everything that it's next to. But I've got some beautiful, beautiful cells. The lime actually looks quite um, yellow, doesn't it? doesn't really look much green. That's probably a good thing because if you put yellow in, in with black, you get an awful baby poo green colour. It's not pleasant. So, yeah, there you go. Um, 
I will try this one again. Alright, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> I was going to fiddle some more, but I won't. Um, I'll take my gloves off. Uh, where's that other one? So that's the one that I did without the lime. And that's with the lime. Without. It's a lot darker, isn't it? This one's dry now, so it does dry. Oh, almost dry. It does dry darker. And I've got my stripies that I want. See, with your stripies like this, you can't really tell, um, you know, how many cups I've used because it looks as if there's one there and one there because there's a stripe down the centre. So it's it's hard to see how many cups I've actually used. But I would have liked more black. So next time, not as much black in the actual layers and I think my stripes will be brighter and then I'll put more black in between. Mm, I think I'll do that. I'll take the camera down though so that you can see properly. It's quite a bright painting, as you can see. Lovely and bright. Green does look yellow though, doesn't it? It's a little bit of green down on the left there, but the rest of it does look quite yellow. I'm trying to, oh, I'm trying to work out how to hold this so that I'm not... I haven't got the light behind me. Okay, let's try this. Walk up the, cam up the table. It's not really helping. I'm still in the shadows. I'll try not to drop my phone into the painting now. Look at those. Aren't they gorgeous cells? Lime around the orange. Really, really pretty. Love that top left corner. Actually, that whole top section. It's really pretty. But would have just liked a little bit more blocks of black. Maybe I do need to do my black background and then pour on top of it. So there you go. Hope you liked it. I'm very tempted to do some balloon dips. And um, I will see you for the next one. And I'll try and get a little bit more brighter. That pink line through the centre. See, that's what I was hoping for. More of those block pink lines through the centre. Hmm, it's yummy. It's very pretty. Really happy with it. Oh, can you guys hear that cockatoo in the background? I wonder if that's Scruffy. Someone's out the back there calling me. I'll have to go and see who it is. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.